By 1920, for the first time in history, more Americans lived in cities than in the countryside. Drawn by jobs and the desire for a better life, six million more people moved to urban areas during the decade. Symbols of American prosperity and ingenuity, cities built new stores, theaters, and skyscrapers. Suburbs boomed too, as growing numbers of white-collar workers used autos, streetcars, and trains to commute between office and home. When you really do begin to build a society around the automobile, it will allow people to live outside central cities in a much greater degree. It's the central contributing factor to the expansion of the suburbs, which is really 19th century cities and early 20th century cities. Only the very wealthy lived in the suburbs. And provided you have the money to make it all happen, the automobile allows the, the city to expand much wider into the suburbs and to minimize public transportation. It, it heightens the people's desire to have a private mode of, of transportation and a private lifestyle in the suburbs. The automobile in the 1920s changes almost every aspect of American life. The whole landscape begins to change. Small town grocery stores, for example, often closed up because people could hop into their car and drive to a bigger city nearby. And many people thought that the car was anti-religious because a lot of people, instead of going to church on Sunday, went for a Sunday drive. The car changed the nature of dating habits. For the first time, young people could escape the chaperone of their parents. The car also led to drive-in movies and then eventually drive-in banks and so it's hard to overestimate what the, the car did to American habits in a whole variety of uh, ways. Cities were the centers of the new mass consumer culture, the proving grounds of new forms of entertainment and leisure. To create a consumer out of a citizen required profound changes in people's values and behaviors. And the segment of the nation's society that changed the most were women.